Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're finally going to go through, empty out this makeup basket, and shop my stash for my everyday makeup basket for May of 2020. So I actually panned quite a few things in April, so a lot of what's in here right now is going to look a little bit different from, like, my um, April shop my stash video. That's because, like, I was literally, like, replacing things as I finished them up. I finished up some foundations, some powders, some concealers, so things are going to look a little different but I really do want to just do a full overhaul here change things up maybe not the foundation but I really want to switch these things out because <laughs> April felt both like really short but also excruciatingly like long <laughs> and since I'm here every day I'm home doing my makeup here every day I just I I really did use the products here but now that I've used them like I'm ready to switch them out they're ready to go back into their drawers for now so yeah Let's jump right in first to just pulling stuff out of my basket. Okay, so over here, I think this mascara has finally uh, like hit its three month mark. This is just a mini of the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. So that is gonna go and be an empty now. I'm gonna keep my NYX Glitter Glue. Um, I think this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel is still good. I got these two lip liners. I still haven't really used them. I got them in my last Try Beauty box. So I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna be real honest, I didn't use like any of these lipsticks. I've got like this bullet lipstick, I had this white lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and then I had this bullet lipstick from Urban Decay. I think I used this one twice and then I didn't touch the other one. So yeah, I gotta say like while I've been in quarantine, I'm just uh, not really using lipstick. If anything, I've been using this a lot. This is a lip plumper, but I've basically been using it as a lip gloss. <laughs> and that's what I've been reaching for every day. I actually, I found this little mini <laughs> I cleaned out behind my vanity and this rolled on the floor under my vanity and I found it. <laughs> so it's yellow. I used it as an eyeliner in one of my recent looks and I liked it. So it's just going to stay there for now. I pulled out a black lipstick because I wanted to use it in a live stream and I never did. So I'll just put it back into my collection. Let's see. I didn't really use any, uh, well, except for NYX Cottage Cheese. I did use that. So we'll leave that in there. I didn't really use either of these, <laughs> so we'll just move them back. Uh, the setting spray is over here. I'm actually just about to finish this Catrice one and just about to finish this Milani one. It's like just about empty. So I'll leave them there and then I'll replace them as soon as they finish. But I think the one I'm just going to replace it with, I only have one of the setting spray like left. So oof, I probably need to figure out how to DIY one or maybe place an order because that's something I like I use every day. The last setting spray I have left is this Cover FX one, so I'll just put it up here with the rest of them. And once these two are done, this will replace it. Okay, so I think that's everything. This is just my AirPods case and then my hand lotion that I use. It's not the Sol Jade, um, Sol de Janeiro one. I actually emptied that out, finished it, and now I just replace it with the cheaper lotion that my boyfriend got me. Kudos to him. Let's move into the first drawer. So. This drawer is going to look the most different, if that's a word. It's terrible grammar is what it is. Because I finished quite a lot of things in this drawer. I am not using lash glue, so we're just going to move the lash glue back into my collection. I also never really used my um, salmon color corrector, if it wants to focus. I also never use the salmon color corrector. This is something I use more when I'm actually like going out, so I might just save that. Next, I don't know why I kept this in here. I'm not using my white uh, mixer just because I don't care if my foundation doesn't match the best right now because I'm not going anywhere. And on a webcam, on you can see it on camera sometimes, I do have a, quite a line at my neck. But for work, it doesn't really matter as much and I want to save this for when I need it for when I'm leaving the house again. So this is going to just go back into my collection. I think everything but this is going to stay. Um, this is the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream. I really want to pull another primer in, so this is going to go... The rest of this stuff I'm using and just panning, quite honestly. I pulled out these two foundations because I panned the other couple of foundations I oh, I had in my collect or in this basket. So this is the Catrice Atri Liquid Coverage Foundation and the AOA Studio um, A Plus Satin Foundation. This is a powder from um, the Balm and it's actually almost done. If I can open it up with one hand, there's like that much powder left. <laughs> so that's going to be done very soon. I have these two concealers. I got the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, and then I have the uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer. This Hourglass Powder is also, like, 
get in there. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to finish those two up this month. And I finished the rest of the loose powders in my collection. This is the only loose powder I have left is this big Cody Airspun powder. And I'm actually surprised the whole thing fits in here. I was going to have to move it into another container to put it in here, but I realized it fits, which is nice. So that's going to be there. And then I got my little bread thing. So that's everything for this drawer. So guess who really didn't use lashes? This girl. So I'm going to put it away. <laughs> I barely used this hourglass palette. I really used these two palettes and I'll show you that. So this one I think I'm going to move back into my collection. We'll pick another face palette to use because I think the face palettes are just really good. And this one from Makeup Revolution I liked a lot and I hit pan here and I'm actually really close to hitting pan in the two contour shades. So I'm kind of sick of using this but it is a good product. It's a good foolproof product so not bashing it or anything. I'm just kind of sick of seeing it at this point. Next we have this um, cream contour kit from ABH and I actually used this a couple of times. Wasn't the biggest fan but I used it so I'm gonna put it back in my collection. <laughs> I got so much use out of this loose blush and I really liked it. I gotta say this is from Geek Chic Cosmetics and this is the blush in Let Them Eat Cake. And it was really cool. It got me to experiment more with blush, and I liked it a lot. Um, I do want to try another blush. I don't have a huge blush collection, but I'm ready to switch this out for something else. This one, I think I'm going to keep in here. This is from the AOA Studio Perfect line, and this is the blush in the shade Dandy. Yes, in the shade Dandy. It's like a nice peach little blush. And then these two products are what I've been using just in my brows. So we've got the Maybelline Color Tattoo, just in the black shade. And then I've been pulling out this black shade from this Huda palette for my brows. So we'll leave those two in there like that. Next up, we've got this miscellaneous drawer. I really like this highlighter. It's a little too dark for me. Um, I got this in my last Try Beauty box, but it is a pretty like color. But I've used it quite a few times and I'm ready to switch it up. So I'm going to move this back into my collection. These two palettes from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs, I did a first impression in a live stream. If you missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards. And I really want to like keep experimenting with them and do a full video. So I'm going to keep them in here, but I want to get rid of everything else. <laughs> so this Davina um, palette, quote unquote, I actually used quite a lot. I liked the green shades and I think they're really nice. So I'm glad I got use out of it. I'm going to put it back into my collection. I didn't really use the Smoke Sessions one too much, but I think I pulled too many greens. I was using the greens from the Davina and not from here. So I'll just move back into my collection for now. And then, like I said, I want to switch up my um, highlighters. So I'm going to move these palettes back into my collection, but I got a lot of use out of these this month. And I'm really happy with how I was able to use them. I also realized they're both hella messy. <laughs> So the only thing we're going to keep in here are these Lunatic Cosmetic Labs palettes, and there we go. Now, I'm ashamed to say this, I still haven't really used the Lemonade palette, so I'm going to put it back in my collection. I think I need to just step away from it for a bit and then come back to it when I'm really wanting to reach for those kind of shades. I'm going to keep this palette. I got this in my Tri Beauty box, too. This is from Suva Beauty. Very uh, modern renaissance -y. I'm going to move this into here. And then I'm going to move Blue Blood back into my collection because I used it a lot this month. I did um, a couple of different looks with it. I used it in a um, collab video that should have gone up before this one. So I'll throw it up in the cards too. And I'm just happy I got use out of it, which is what I wanted to do. And then over here, I've got a clean bread thing, which let's switch out the bread thing that's up here. I'll wash that. We'll put the clean one in. <laughs> and these are all just the liquid shadows that I've been most reaching for recently. So yeah, now that we've pulled everything out, let me go ahead and put all of this back into my collection, then we'll go and shop my stash. All right, welcome to my makeup collection. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now if you can hear people outside. It's like the first nice day we've had in like over a week, and so all my neighbors are outside and I can't really blame them. So if you hear them, my apologies. Let's start up here. I don't need a concealer, so we're not going to go in here. And this is lip liners. I've already got lip liners. These are my individually packaged single shadows that I rarely reach for. But I really want to pull this one out because I think it would match well with my Pan That palette and the shades that I'm going to be working with. This is a shade from Geek Chic Cosmetics. 
and it's called uh, Eat the Rude. It is a Hannibal Lecter inspired single shadow and it's like a nice red peachy shimmer and I think it'll match my Pan That palette very nicely. And then just for funsies, I want to bring in my favorite ColourPop Super Shock shadow, which is the shade Sailor. I've already hit pan like in the middle, but I love this shade and I haven't used it in a while, so let's use it up. Next in my ever-packed liner, brow gel, everything drawer, <laughs> I'm going to use this mascara. It's actually, I think, my last mascara. Ooh, I might need to find one. Uh, this is the Essence Lash Princess, one of my uh, favorites. And let me look through this and see if I actually want to pull anything out. From that drawer, I'm going to pull these three products out. I forgot I had the ABH Brow Gel, <laughs> so I'm going to use that. This is a tinted one. I also have the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I think this is the black one. And then I have this Marc Jacobs Pencil, which is just like this clear kind of shimmery, hopefully help me look awake in the morning eyeliner. So we're going to use those three. We are going to stay away from uh, lashes because I'm just not reaching for them. Liquid shadows and stuff. I feel like I'm already reaching for them when I need to. Yo, let's pull out these glitters though because when else am I going to use these but in quarantine? Yes, let's do, let's do it. This is just my electronics and let's scoot on down. These, this is just tape. Uh, th this is my nail stuff here. Okay, so we're going to get into lipsticks, uh, but first I forgot I had this <laughs> setting spray. Today is the first hot day, actually like feeling like spring, maybe feeling like summer day we've had in a while, and I'm feeling it. I, I'm already kind of sweating. I had to film this in parts and actually like turn on my AC in between taking breaks because it's getting hot in this attic. Uh, so I'm going to bring this back out and see if I can make it work for me. So this is the Matte Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. For lipsticks, I already tried pulling lipsticks last month and I just never wore any of them. And since I was reaching for like a lip plumper and um, like lipsticks, not lipsticks, <laughs> chapsticks, I thought why not just bring out my glosses because I almost never reach for my glosses and this would be a great time to do so. So I want to pull out these two. This is a NYX gloss and then I have a Dior nice gloss right there. So those two, mm, yeah, we'll do those two and see how I like those and then maybe next month we'll pull out a couple more. So we're going to skip the rest of this because that's all lipsticks. Let's move down into the Alex drawers. Okay, so down here we've got all of my foundations. I'm actually clearing these out. There's not a lot left because I've been panning so many of them. I don't think I need to pull another foundation right now because I've been just really replacing them as I finish them. So I think we're good there. Over here I have my color switch, um, some Q-tips, some makeup wipes, and for primer. I really want to pull another primer. Let's, you know what, let's pull an eye primer and a face primer. Because I've got some eye primers in here that I'm not using, and I was just using a concealer. But I'm actually to the point where I'm using up all my concealer. So let's pull this NARS eye primer. Never tried it before, so let's use that one. And for my face primer, oh my god, the neighbors have like this bump in music. I kind of want to, nope, social distancing, Monica. Social distancing. I really don't have that many primers. <laughs> Hmm. Should I try the matte putty primer now that I'm like sweating up here? Yeah, why not? Let's try it. Oh, let me, we'll use that to scoop up the matte putty primer. And I think we're good for this drawer. All right, so for drawer number two, um, these are all the face powders that I have left. Just like the foundations, I've just been replacing them as I use them up. And I used to have my loose powders over here and they're just gone. <laughs> I've just, I've used up all my loose powders. So there's that. These are bronzers. I'm gonna pick another face palette out. Should I pull a bronzer? No, I mean, I only have got a couple of them. So I think we're good there. Really wanna pull another blush. So, really don't have that many blushes either. <laughs> I want to pull these two. We've got the California blush from Benefit right there. 
And then I've got the Sailor Moon and ColourPop blush, the hot pink one. What shade is this? This is from the moon. A nice little hot pink. Move this back in there, and I think that is it for this drawer. All right, so for my highlight drawer, I really want to pull, since I had so, like, such a great experience with my, um, loose blush, I want to pull this loose highlighter that I almost never use. This is also from Geek Chic Cosmetics, and this is the Moon Tiara Stardust Highlighter, so that one's a definite, and after that, I don't know if I want to pull, hmm, should I pull a single highlighter or should I go for another palette? I think I should go for a single one. You know what? Let's pull out this Fenty one because I've actually almost panned this and I kind of want to like finish it up. So let's make that a goal. We'll see if I can pan this before quarantine ends. <laughs> Ooh, the neighbors are getting even louder. Hope you guys can't hear that. And let's move on to the final drawer. This one is just uh, messy. This is actually where my lip glosses go. And the bottom drawer is going to be the face palettes. Okay, so down here, I'm actually really tempted to pull out that big Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer box, but I don't need to right now. What should I use? Definitely something that's got a full contour in it. I don't need blush or highlight in it because I do have those picked out already. Let's pull this one. This is from Profusion. Can you focus? This is from Profusion. This is the Highlight and Contour 1. Yeah, I think this will be good. Let's pull this one. Okay, so that's it for the Alex drawers. Let's move over to my eyeshadow palette collection. I really don't know. I've already got three palettes in there. And my pan that palette. So I don't think we're really going to pick... Maybe I'll pick a tiny palette. I haven't done a Spotlight on Petite palettes in a while. So maybe I should pick a tiny palette. Okay, so all of my tiny palettes are like in this little section. They're spread out between like over here and over here. So let me pull that out and let's pick one. Oh, don't fall. Oh, it's dusty. I got to dust. Do some dusting up here. But I decided to pick this collab palette. It's newer to my collection. I haven't actually used it yet. And I recently saw a palette week video from my friend Bougie Brie, and she said she loved this palette. So I need to use it, especially now that I don't have any, any excuse to not do dramatic smoky eyes. So this one. Alrighty, now that we've picked all of my makeup, I'm going to go ahead and put it all into my basket, and then I will bring you back to show you the final everyday makeup basket for May. Okay, so here we are back. I've got quite a lot of setting sprays up here, but these two are almost empty, so those will cut down in a bit. I put the glosses up here, got the new mascara, we've got the brow gel, the liners and everything, and yeah, that's it. So let's jump into the first drawer. This is drawer number one. Not too many changes, but we do have our new primer and our new eye primer right over here. Drawer number two, not too much. I put the single shadows down here. I've got the loose highlighter, got the palette, and our blushes and highlight right over there in the corner. Drawer number three is actually pretty empty. We just have these two palettes. And drawer number four, I just have the glitters down here with the liquid shadows, and then I kept the two um, Lunatic Cosmetic Labs palettes down here so I can remember that I want to film with them. And that's everything for my everyday makeup basket for May. Let me know down below what you guys are going to be using and if you're still in quarantine because uh, I am. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.